Hey you. How's what? it going? Good. Good? Do you want to pick out mommy's makeup? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's pick out mommy's makeup for the next couple weeks, okay? Okay. I think you're going to be a really good picker. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. I think so too. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Melanie. I have tried recording this video several times now. I have really crazy bad allergies today. If this take doesn't work out, I'm just not gonna try this again today. So, fingers crossed that this works out. Anyway, at the beginning of this video, you saw some footage of my five-year-old daughter, Stella. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, that is who that is. Um, she is my pride and joy. I obviously think she's adorable, um, but I decided to have her help me pick out the makeup for my latest shop, my stash. So we went through my Alex Nine drawer here. Yes, every YouTuber's dream, um, <laughs> dream container system, right? Um, and what we did is we pulled some things that we are going to put in the top drawer of this Alex Five drawer, and these are the makeup items that I'm going to be using over the next couple of weeks um, and will probably be featured in Friday Favorites. So I'm not going to open all these palettes. Most of you have already seen them before. Um, these are some pretty popular palettes that she decided to pull. So in the interest of making this video a little bit shorter, um, let's just run through these. Ciate uh, London Olivia Palermo Smoky Suede eye palette. This one's really pretty. This was a holiday limited edition thing from a couple years ago. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because it looked like a chocolate bar and what five-year-old wouldn't grab this? <laughs> she picked the Tartlet in Bloom palette because it had purple on the cover and she loves purple. Um, she also picked this I will show you because this is kind of older and most of you probably have not seen this. This is the Lorac Baked Eyeshadow palette that came out, um, I, I mean, I think this is like five years old at least. Um, this was for my earlier YouTube days. It's a beautiful baked eyeshadow formula and I really like these. The primer is of course long gone, I used that up. But um, I don't typically gravitate towards these shades anymore because I have gray hair, but Stella thought they were very pretty so we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> um, and then also she liked the natural matte eyeshadow palette. I think she just liked the flowery design on the front. Um, that's typically how Stella picks things. <laughs> Has to have a pretty cover on it. And I love this as well. If you can hear my dog in the background, my apologies. Um, highlight and contour palette from IBY Beauty. This was in my most recent uh, BoxyCharm. Really like that. And then I also decided to keep this blush palette out. This is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. And um, you have seen this in my Friday favorites probably a couple times by now. I'm really enjoying this and I think it's very, very pretty. So let's take a look at what's in here. Um, I'm just going to run through this really, really fast. Um, I'm going to pull this out for a second so that I can get in here. These containers, by the way, are just cardboard boxes that I had. Um, these little plastic things were from the dollar section at Target several years ago. So this is the foundation section here or base section of my makeup collection for this weekly beauty drawer. This is the Lorac. Um, Blurring Translucent Pressed Powder. This is something that I'm testing out currently for a video series, not video series, but a summer um, like oily skin pressed powder suggestions video. There we go. Uh, this is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder from By Terry. This is gorgeous. I never take this out because it's such a nice powder. The Ordinary Serum Foundation. I've already done a review of this. You've probably already seen it. This is in every Weekly Beauty Basket. It's my SPF 30 from Paula's Choice. Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I have really oily eyelids. Two shades of Laura Geller Balance and Brighton, Porcelain and Fair. I've been mixing these two together. Um, gives me a great color. So 
that's a little bit excessive. The fair is honestly just a little bit too dark, so the porcelain lightens it up. But porcelain I cannot use by itself. Another pressed powder that I have been testing for that video is the Amazonian Clay Pressed Powder from Tarte in the color light. And then this is another item that I'm testing <laughs> that you will be seeing a review on shortly if it's not already up. It's the Universal Apricot Filter Fix Baked Correcting Setting Powder. Does that look more in focus there? <laughs> From, again, Laura Geller. Um, really enjoying this. So a little bit of a spoiler there for you. Um, let's grab this really quickly. This is my Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter um, Contour Powder that I like to use. I, I use the dark shade in here as my, um, sorry, I do have a tripod, but it's kind of flimsy. So anyway, this is obviously well loved and well used. So that stays in all the time and I'm just going to remove this down a tad. There are MAC blushes in here. I do not purchase from MAC any longer because I try to purchase cruelty free. Um, but I did not purge everything that was not cruelty free from my collection when I decided to go cruelty free. So there are still things in there and um, I will use them up. I just won't repurchase them. So Stella did pick these three blushes from MAC. They are Melba, which is very, actually a beautiful color, Mocha, and Cubic, which is just a really nice nude. So I think those are good choices for a five-year-old. <laughs> she knows that Mama is a neutrals girl. Um, I have a feeling someday when Stella starts wearing makeup, she'll, she'll be one of those colorful kind of girls. <laughs> but Mama's more into her neutrals. This is the Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy um, blush, the Air Flesh air blush sorry air blush there we go Jeez, I'm telling you guys I'm, I have the worst allergies this I talked her into keeping in here because I love this this is the hourglass dim infusion blush this is gorgeous love it um she really liked this pink grapefruit from Laura Geller it's a baked blush um I wanted to try this this is the Laura Geller medium bronze and brighten um, this came from a kit that I recently picked up from um, Ulta. This I kept in from the last go around and it is Flower Child from Becca. It's just a mini blush. And this is the highlighter she chose for me. It's the Butter Blush in Natural Glow. So go little girl. I think those are all awesome choices on her part. Eyeshadows she chose. This was my favorite. Um, it has a robot and a dinosaur on it, so of course it had to come out. This is Ruthless from Urban Decay. This is one of their old deluxe eyeshadows. Um, she she just thought that was the coolest thing she's ever seen, so out it came. Um, I have two Victoria's Secret eyeshadows. These are the decadent eyeshadows. Do you guys remember these? I don't think Victoria's Secret really sells makeup anymore. So Private Beach and, um, sorry, Luster eyeshadows in Private Beach and Decadent. That's where I got the Decadent from. This is Decadent, this is Private Beach. If you guys watch Lisa Lisa D1, she used to be obsessed with Private Beach. I actually had it before I heard her talking about it. That's a very old eyeshadow. <laughs> this is a Laura Geller baked um, cake liner. And I've had this for a while and I've just started using it and I actually really enjoy it. So I like that a lot. The color is Blueberry and Dutch chocolate, so it's a blue and a brown. Um, I decided to pull three of these because I haven't used them in a long time. I don't purchase from Maybelline any longer, but these are the 24-hour color tattoos. So I have um, Sleek and Spice. This was a limited edition one. The Cool C Caramel Cool, sorry. This was a limited edition one. And then Black Orchid, also a limited edition. Um, I used to love these when they first came out, and I just haven't worn them much, so I either need to start wearing them or purge them from my collection because they're pretty old, and I really need to, like, wipe these containers out. But there's a lot of powder products in here, so there's quite a bit of dust. Um, Wet n Wild Brulee, I use this every day to set my primer, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so this goes on first, this goes on over top, and then every other eyeshadow goes over that. This is a Candy Fig Duo from Laura Geller. This one I actually pulled, so. But those are the eyeshadows, and then um, 
This stuff usually doesn't change back here, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. These are just my um, mascaras and brow powders and brow liners that I'm currently using. So there's some stuff in here from It Cosmetics, Laura Geller, Fiona Styles, um, by Terry. You can tell that I'm going through some samples right now um, in terms of mascara and then um, yeah some micro brow pencils which I really like. Um, I think Paula's Choice discontinued this mascara which bums me out. It's their Fantastic Lash Mascara. Uh, had I known I would have bought some backups because I love this so that sucks. Anyway let's talk about lip products. Stella definitely picked these two, can you tell? These are Annabelle Lipsies. These were actually sent to me by my friend Stephanie over at Flourish XO. She sent these in a package. Her and I will, we're really, really amazing friends and we exchange packages with each other um, every once in a while. So Coca Vanilla and Peach are the two Lipsies that Stella pulled and I love those because they were from Stephanie and I just adore her. Um, this is a blushing margarita from Buxom, and then this is Bellini. Um, this I love, but I want to try this one because I grabbed it during the last 21 Days of Beauty. And then a few other things. This is the trio of lipsticks that I got in that Laura Geller set. I don't know. I think you will have seen the haul video from Ulta already. But those are the three Laura Geller lipsticks I picked up in the Nudes collection. It's the... Pucker Up Trio. I will link my latest haul video down below if that is up already and you can see it there. But anyway, there's three of those shades and I want to use them so I put them in here. <laughs> and then these things stayed. She didn't really have much interest in picking out lipsticks, which kind of surprised me. There is so much powder. I really need to clean these out. Um, Brazilian Kiss from Sol de Janeiro. Love this. Uh, Smith's Tropical... Ambrosia Balm. Love this. I think it's currently sold out at Ulta. And pardon my nails, they're disgusting. I'm in the middle of wedding flower season. My nails just take a giant dump during that time because I'm in and out of chemicals and it's just a mess. This I actually put away and Stella did grab this again. It's Naked Dolly from um, Too Faced. She just said it was a really cute little container. So it's in here again. Labello Soft Rosé, um, my German's out there. <laughs> this, I love this, and this is my last backup, so the next time I go to Germany or my friend Felix comes over, I'll have to have him bring me another one of those. And then um, Glacé Lip Crayon from, what is on here? What is that? I think some skincare leaked in here. Great. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was just, I was recording another video and I did knock something over and I have a feeling that I, okay, well, we'll clean that up. Uh, Glacé lip pencil. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm a mess today. No more videos after this. And then the By Terry Bum de Rose, which um, just always stays in here. I love that a lot. But these are all of the lip products that both Stella and I picked out. Now I'm going to put all of this stuff away, go blow my nose, and um, probably take a Claritin. Holy cow. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.